Hey y'all. Hey. Hey family. My brothers and sisters, new brothers and sisters, and my nieces and nephews. It's me, Auntie Moni Mo. I've been out here in these YouTube streets, y'all. There is stuff going on. People's names are up in people's mouths. It's just funny. Thank you so much, Ellie, for accepting my friend request on Facebook. And I really gleaned some good information from you. Um, let me park here. Anyway, I don't have a good view, but you'll have a good view out the back. Anyway, um, thank you for sharing that tidbit about telling your story because at 59, I got a lot of story to tell. So, I thought what I would do is, uh, it's cold out here, y'all. I made this sweater. It's a sweater coat. Um, so let's get into the intro. Hi, my name is Monica. Um, I let my good friends call me Moni Mo. So I am Auntie Moni Mo to all my friends here on YouTube and my nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for coming to see some things that I have to say about, you know, different things, different, different stuff, you know? So, uh, I want to start out with a new intro I was thinking about last night. So, because I would like to improve on my watch time because most people average watch, I think it said five minutes. So I try to keep them between, you know, 10 and 15 minutes. So anyway, so I'm going to be getting a little more structure, but you know, that's not my personality. So I may not be structured. So I heard a good quote and remembered a good quote. I heard this early on in my life and it says, a wise man speaks because they have something to say. A foolish person speaks because they have to say something. I'm quiet so you can ponder that again. A wise woman, a wise person, yeah, wise woman too. A wise person speaks because they have something to say. A foolish person speaks because they have to say something. And when I heard that, it was so profound and stuck with me for a very long time. And I I noticed it more and more now in different conversations well throughout my whole life, right? So, anyway, so back to Ellie. Thank you, girl, for accepting my Facebook request. I appreciate that. And any of you want to reach out to me on Facebook, um, I'm Monica Watson Leader, something like that. But my thumbnail picture is the same on Facebook as it is um, on my YouTube channel. But, uh, she said in telling your story, telling her story, because, you know, it could be very emotional, um, because sometimes, you know, it could be once you're telling it and you're telling it again, you may be, you know, experiencing the emotions because you're living through it again. So she did a big, you know, playlist and did little excerpts of uh, her story. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to title this video, I quit my nine to five job at 59, but who am I? Right? So we can stay in the algorithm and I can share a little bit of myself and my story about who I am. And we'll do that on Sundays. Like you know, like SS Sundays, like somebody else used to have. But, um, yeah, 
So let's talk about some things. I grew up in California, Southern California. I was born in Mexico. And let's just say with that right there, my life started as a, a very uh, interesting beginning to my landing on earth, <laughs> as you say. So, um, I remember and was told, because, you know, I was a baby back then, that, um, my mom was down and she and her husband were down in Mexico because they were traveling back and forth. <coughs> and, uh, were thinking about living there because my dad's, my, uh, mom's husband, I found out later, was not my biological dad, but they were thinking about um, living in Mexico. So they went into labor while she was there. I went to the hospital there. I was born there. And then when I was about old enough, I guess maybe six months old or something, um, they came to the back, to, you know, she was able to come back to the United States. Where they got married, we grew up in uh, a little town up on the top of a hill, and I have a lot of memories from then, a lot of memories of going back and forth to Mexico, um, because after they divorced, uh, he would come and get me and my sister. I am the oldest of the family. And uh, we would go to Mexico all the time. Had wonderful adventures down there. Loved it because their sense of family and community, no matter how little they had in comparison to uh, the United States and, you know, what I was used to, um, they had love and happiness and we played and they had good times and had parties and you know, uh, they would stay awake till oh dark 30 in the morning, drinking and dancing and mariachi and everything. And oh my God, the food. I love the food. So anyway, so I was uh, raised by my stepfather who I la 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 love. And um, we were raised in a in a racial family now. And my mom got a divorce from my, what I thought then was my dad. And then she met my stepdad and that's where I was raised till I was 13. And then they uh, split up, which killed us. But anyway, and I was going from uh, elementary school to junior high. And then um, after my mom left them, uh, left him, she uh, met her husband that she was married to for 40 years after that when he came and installed our phone, which is all funny because that's what wound up being my first corporate job was with the phone company because he was with the phone company, you know? And so... That was my, uh, one of my big first transitions in my life was having that experience. And, um, we can go into detail about that later. But, um, so then here I am graduating high school. I left home before I even graduated high school due to abuse. And at that time, we had become Jehovah's Witnesses when I was about 14 because my mom had studied with the Jehovah's Witnesses um, and she thought that that would help control her new boyfriend at the time. And as a result of becoming Jehovah's Witnesses, which meant we started studying and there's a whole thing involved with that. If you know, you know. Anyway, so they wound up having to get married because you can't live together as a Jehovah's Witness in sin. That's just not happening. So I had the whole Jehovah's Witness experience as I was going through high school. And then um, my mom's husband started uh, 
physically abusing us, me and my sister. And so he beat us so badly that um, we had to go live with my uncle in Northern California um, before I graduated high school. And we went to school there for a year from junior, I was a junior to a senior. And then we came back for the summer right before school started my senior year. And it wasn't long after that that uh, I left home before I even graduated high school. So that's just a little bit about Moni Mo. Um, I think we're going to do this, you know, like a little bit of 10 minutes every now and again. Thank you so much. We're up to 1,200 subscribers over. I cannot believe that. You know, it's like when you set something in motion, I'm spiritual. So, and there's reasons for that because of my re organized religion experiences. But we'll get into that as you get to know me on my life stories. But um, it's funny. I have wanted to do this. You can see, you can go back. Please go back and watch all my old videos because, you know, you can see some of my life and how I tried to get on YouTube and catch the al algorithm before there was even an algorithm. You know what I mean? But I just, it's just, I guess it's our turn right now. You know, I'm just so blessed because I'm meeting all these great people um, that we have so many things in common with. And so, and just to talk about, you know, how are we going to live out this next part of our journey if we choose not to work the nine to five all the way to retirement age, whatever it is, whenever it is, and however it is, right? So I never dreamed. Well, yes, I did. I dreamt. Whenever the talk shows and stuff came out, you know, back then, I remember I was around when Donahue was, and was it Dinah Shore or somebody that was opposite Di Donahue? But when they were having talk shows and stuff like that, and then Oprah came along and, you know, that was back then when she was first